Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I want to do a video on uh, how to get audio ducking on your Rodecaster Pro using an external audio source through an XLR port on your mixer. So as you know, the uh, Rodecaster Pro only allows audio ducking through the four main channels on your mixer board. So you actually do not get the audio ducking feature through your USB, your uh, your smartphone input, your Bluetooth input, or your uh, your sound pad uh, options as well. So that's kind of a, a pain in the butt, but there is a workaround. You can actually work around this for now. Hopefully they add the global ducking feature in the next firmware update. That would be great. Cross your fingers. But for now, I'm going to show you guys how to do it using an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable and, uh, and a simple external audio device, like an iPod MP3 player, a high end audio DAC, uh, possibly like a laptop or an external or another computer altogether. But I'm going to show you right now how to do it. It's very simple. So you want to go to uh, Amazon or your local, maybe eBay or, or uh, electronic store or something like that. And you're going to want to pick up one of these guys here. This is a 3.55 millimeter audio in, or I should say audio out, to an XLR in audio cable. And you're going to plug this into one of your main inputs on your mixer board. I'm just going to go in on four. And then for your 3.5 millimeter, you're going to go into your, or sorry, out from your external audio source. I'll be using this iPod. Plain and simple. And by the way, I got this for like 15 bucks. I got this cable for like 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for you. It's probably even cheaper in the US. Okay, so you want to make sure you have all of your processing on the channel that you're going to be using turned off because you don't want anything peaking. And whatever you do, make sure phantom power is not enabled on the channel that you are going to be running audio from your device to because it can destroy your device. Because remember, it's giving it power. You do not want to give the uh, external audio source power because it could actually just like wreck the actual interface. So turn off your phantom power. Whatever you do, that's the first thing you want to do. Then you're going to want to go into your channel one. Your microphone is your master channel. So you're going to want to go to channel one. Uh, you're going to want to go to, you're going to go home, go to settings, go to advanced. Then you're going to go to audio. And I believe it's under processing. Yes. So it's processing and you're going to want to turn on ducking. Remember, this is channel one. Channel one is your master channel. Go to channel one, turn on ducking. And that's all you need to do. So now you've got channel one turned on with ducking, right? You've got your external audio device in channel, mine, mine channel four, for example, I got the volume up just a little bit here and I've got a, a copyright free music ready to play from YouTube just so it's safe and we don't get like, you know, deleted or banned off of YouTube. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hit play. And just like that, you have audio ducking available. And free audio ducking. And the good thing about audio ducking is if you want to take over if you're a Twitch streamer and, you, and you're playing a live game and you got music playing in the background, but you want to make sure that that music doesn't cut into what you're saying, audio ducking is a great feature to have. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.